Emulators like Yuzu, RPCS3, and PPSSPP have already shown how powerful mobile gaming can be, delivering near console performance, impressive game compatibility, and enhanced graphics across multiple platforms. Today, playing Nintendo Switch or PlayStation 3 games on Android feels like a dream come true. But despite these breakthroughs, some of the most advanced emulators, especially for Xbox and PlayStation 4, are still missing on Android. In this video, we're taking a look at four major console emulators that could finally land on Android in 2025. Let's dive in. First up, Xenia, the Xbox 360 emulator. It is one of the most advanced Xbox 360 emulators, capable of running massive games like GTA 4, Red Dead Redemption, and Halo 3 with stunning visuals and great performance. Right now, Xenia on Android is still a dream, but that doesn't mean it's impossible. Why isn't it on Android? The answer is simple. The emulator is incredibly demanding and requires serious hardware power. However, with Android devices like the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 and Snapdragon X Elite, which offer desktop-level graphics and CPU power, the technology is nearly ready. Next, Shad PS4, the PS4 emulator already making waves on PC, running AAA games like God of War, Spider-Man, and The Last of Us Part II, with smooth gameplay and high-quality visuals. There's a rumor that Sean Droid, an official fork of Shad PS4, is under development. It aims to bring PlayStation 4 gaming to Android something that once seemed impossible due to the processing and storage demands of PlayStation 4 games. But with the Snapdragon X Elite and improvements in Android graphics and emulator optimization, Shad PS4 could deliver PS4 quality gaming on your phone. Ryubing and Kenji NX, two latest major Ryujinx forks, recently launched with big promises for Nintendo Switch emulation on Android and PC. But shortly, Ryubing received a DMCA strike, and Kinji NX also removed from GitHub for unknown reason. The developer of Ryubing has officially announced that the project is not shutting down, just temporarily paused due to legal concerns. They're working on a new, clean build that won't violate any rules. Imagine playing Super Mario Odyssey at a steady 60 frames per second on your phone, or taking Zelda Breath of the Wild with you on your travels. With Ryujinx's high compatibility and excellent mobile optimization, it could deliver the best Nintendo experience on Android. Next up, Zemu, the emulator for the original Xbox. Zemu has made huge strides in emulating classic games like Halo, Combat Evolved, Fable, Jet Set Radio Future, and more. So, why is Zemu not available on Android yet? It's an emulator that's still in development and requires a bit of fine-tuning to work smoothly on mobile devices. But with Android's processing power continuously improving, it's only a matter of time before Zemu makes its Android debut. With better optimization, giving us a taste of retro console gaming right in our pockets, retro gamers rejoice Zemu on Android would be a game-changer. So, there you have it, four emulators that should come to Android in 2025. We can reach out to the developers and request an Android version through platforms like Discord and Reddit. If enough people show interest, it might encourage them to consider it. Developers should also step forward and collaborate to make this happen. Which emulator are you most excited for? Let me know in the comments. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell for more. Peace and happy gaming.